Hi there, welcome to the channel. I'm just making a video really quickly on 11.4.1 on a hardware four vehicle. I know that Tesla is planning on doing an update to 4.2 soon, so I figured I'd get this drive in before before anything updates and I'll have something to compare it to. So <clears throat> the route that I'm taking now, I've driven plenty of times before and I've found some interesting quirks. I'm going to include only the disengagements as the video would be extraordinarily long since it does such a good job most of the time. There's only a handful of specific instances where I've had some issues with how it drives and I don't necessarily know it's the vehicle it might just be me as I'm more of a defensive driver and sometimes it is extraordinarily aggressive so the first issue that I've had is coming up here so I'm going to engage full self-drive here and it's this stop sign up ahead it doesn't seem to want to recognize it even though it's it's clearly visible um, so, oh, it got it this time. So that's a good sign. It just added that in there recently. Uh, the next step here is this stop sign, which it just kind of really was gonna blow through to the last second. It doesn't really wanna stop. Continuing on, doing pretty well here. It's kind of in the center more than I would like, but there is no traffic. And in the past, it has definitely moved over when a vehicle was approaching up ahead. So not a, not a big concern for me. Next up is this stop sign where it traditionally stops uh, a little bit early. There's a traffic comes from the right, but you really can't see it where the vehicle stops. So now it has to creep ahead. Not terrible. Um, but this little creeping process right here, if there's a vehicle behind me, sometimes they can get really irritated because it looks like I stopped and they can see that there's no traffic and they just want me to go and here I am kind of stuttering out. Next, we're going to merge onto this roadway and no vehicles coming, does a fantastic job here. The next left that's coming up um, can be a little shaky sometimes, uh, specifically in an instance just like this. There's a vehicle coming and a vehicle already there. So it kind of slams on the brakes here a little bit. Um, and then it kind of jerks the wheel a little bit, not sure what to do, but eventually it powers through it. Another long stretch of highway here, uh, a lot of up and downs, a lot of twisty roads, but full self-drive nails this every time. This part up here is a little bit nerve-wracking for me. This is where I wish that we had the option to select our routes as there is a left turn coming up here that I could take which would take me to a red light which would allow me to get onto the roadway with a stoplight as opposed to this stop sign here as what will normally happen here is it will stop early same thing as the stop sign before where it stops early but the issue is when it stops early the view is obstructed by this brick building here so it needs to creep up to the point where so it stops here which is super early and now it needs to creep up to take a look at traffic on both sides uh, there is none but you can see how it really delayed in the middle of the road there which isn't great car pulling out in front that still powers through it. This light here with a no turn on red signal, I will try to come back through this way on a different trip. It still doesn't recognize no turn on red and it will want to make a right turn on red there. And if there is a police officer nearby, they will definitely pull me over for that here. Another issue that I've had here is it wants to follow this road all the way to the merge point. Uh, even when there is plenty of opportunity to merge. So right now the vehicle that is behind in the right lane moved to the left and I'm completely, completely clear, but it's going to let this road run out until it merges over. 
and if there are vehicles who are going to let me in, it will kind of confuse them on what I'm actually doing. It seems like that is one of the few places that it actually does it as on this same exact road if I merge in from any other place it puts its turn signal on like normal and just merges in when possible so I'm not really sure what's going on with that particular roadway uh, clear from behind speeding up so in this instance it did not wait till it got to the very end it put the turn signal on and made the merge over before the lane ended. Next issue I've had is whenever it takes this exit, it really takes it and as you can see it, it kind of goes over the line for a second before correcting itself. Uh, it's not a lot but just an odd behavior. Slows down a little bit too much on this exit ramp here. Uh, I could really stand to start to slow down right around here to get to the stop sign but not bad and then here is another nerve-wracking point where there's just cars coming from every direction coming out of that gas station coming from the left coming from the right and it stops so early now this vehicle is going to obstruct my view to the right so well, it smartly stays put until nope it's creeping out you can see some more vehicles on that side there's another one coming um, I guess I'm not really in the road at all and hesitated a little bit uh, and made the turn so wish it would have handled a little bit differently but realistically for all that was going on that wasn't bad next up is this right turn of the light to get onto the highway it traditionally has turned off over the solid white line into the dirt here just like it's about to do now uh, so right now I'm halfway off the road I'm not really sure what it's doing there if it thinks there's a lane or what's going on there but that crossing of the line has been happening from the very beginning and unlike the stop sign from earlier where it wasn't stopping and then all of a sudden today it did that hasn't been corrected yet <clears throat> Alright, so this, this situation it needs to go over, does it nicely, and then it actually has to go over two lanes. Uh, it looked like it was going to do it for a second, but it changed its mind. There's no traffic at all, so it went over and did it perfectly. Other than some of the little jitters when it makes a left-hand turn where it's uncertain of itself, the release of 11.4.1 is pretty rock solid everywhere else. I'm expecting that 11.4.2 or whatever version comes next will refine upon that you know, even further, maybe iron out some of those little issues. But some of the aggressiveness is, it's hard to judge because I'm more of the defensive driver, like I said earlier, and it will do things that I wouldn't normally do. So to me, that seems like it's doing them incorrectly, whereas my sister-in-law took a drive and she really felt that it's driving exactly how she would so when she does a maneuver an aggressive maneuver that's exactly what she would have done and getting over here for the cone is gonna slow it down a little bit handled that section pretty well uh, but as i was saying my sister-in-law is more of an aggressive driver so it mirrors exactly what she would have done so to her it drives perfectly well um, because that's exactly what she was expecting it to do pretty good right hand i'm sorry pretty good left hand turn there Flashing red light to stop, and is it going to? Yes, stopping for traffic light. Don't know if it will continue through this on its own or not. Uh, it does not look like it, so I'm going to step on the accelerator a little bit. 
I would actually prefer that behavior as opposed to jetting out. This right here section, it tends to stop and the car behind there, we don't have a stop. So I'm going to step on the accelerator here. So the person behind me doesn't get upset. And then we're in the middle of the road, but it's going to correct itself. Yes. stopped a little early there because that car kind of made the right turn into my lane full stop that was good it just it's crazy because full self-driving does so well in so many situations it's only those you know, a couple of instances that I pointed out that it does something odd to me at least um, and I can also see if I was a driver behind me that some of those maneuvers would confuse me and, and maybe get me a little flustered. But it's just, it does so well in so many situations. It, it feels like they're so close. And it's just, uh, you know, a handful of edge case scenarios that they've got to, you know, really nail down. And then once they do that, it'll be, you know, rock solid just about on any roadway. This isn't the busiest road in the world, but there are definitely folks that come flying through here. So truck is pretty far down. It stops pretty far back, so you can't really see through that bush. Uh, truck is coming now and it's gonna go. So I'm gonna step on the accelerator a little bit. So. In 1000 feet, better left onto Turkey Foot Road. Now that I look at it, I had plenty of time, but I would have 100% waited for that truck to go. Here's another problem spot. Uh, I would normally bear to the left like the, direct, like the navigation says, but here it doesn't really know what to do and then I got to take over, otherwise it's going to take me through the grass. I did see this morning that there was a new kind of new update for FSD beta. Um, it follows the latest branch of non-FSD. So it puts it ahead of 11.4.1, even though the version number is 11.3.6. So I'm not sure if they had some you know, concerns with the release that I'm driving now, but the standard branch for non-FSD was a few versions higher and now they've updated that one with 11.3.6. So the main branch is now ahead of me but the full self-driving branch is now a version back. So we'll have to see what happens here if there was an issue with 4.1 and they end up pushing out an update to 4.2 on that higher branch or if there's going to be some weird fork in the branches of full self-driving beta. That's everything I've got for now. I will try to take a different route next time and do some additional testing and showing how it performs or doesn't perform well in the variety of other situations. Thanks for watching.